This is the Brazil Independent Games Festival, the BIG. It's an annual gathering of the local gaming industry companies showing players what they have to offer and taking part in business rounds where new ideas and investments can come up. We have around 200 companies already producing. Brazil is a large country and we see studios booming all over. We are all independent uh, companies in Brazil, uh, small and medium-sized studios. We don't have AAA developers here, big studios. So it's, it's really important because all these guys, they have completely freedom to develop, to tell their stories. Gaming is a prime example of a global industry and Brazilian developers are increasingly looking to the Chinese as key partners to spur its growth here in Brazil. Brazilian independent game developer Akiris is among the companies already doing business in China. They've been distributing their racing game Horizon Chase after revising it for a Chinese audience. I think uh, first of all is to understand the, much the, the Chinese market. The, the culture is very different, the kind of games that they do, they like, it's, it's kind of different. You can, we can show games to Chinese companies and understand the, the, their behavior, their, their feedbacks and try to improve your game until you go there and try to license the game. The country's exports promotion agency, Apex, has been organizing a delegation to go in late July to the China Joy in Shanghai, the largest gaming and digital expo in the country. We have some, some cases of uh, Brazilian games that have been trying to break into the Chinese market. But of course, like, uh, there's a lot of opportunities in like, attracting investment to, to, to Brazilian companies as well. In this conference, held during the big festival, local developers had an opportunity to get in touch with potential Chinese partners. Shanghai-based CV Capital is among the companies looking for good business opportunities here. I do think South America is an untapped opportunity, given the audience bases here, given the growth of income. Um, I think you will increasingly see Chinese developers and developers from other places targeting Brazil uh, and all of South America as a market. There's much fun and also great profits in digital gaming, and Brazilian independent developers are fighting for their chunk of it. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.